my lovely friends, and I hope you are having a beautiful day. Today we'll focus all of the attention on the stretches for hamstrings. This practice will be perfect for beginners, all those who feel tight in their body, and everyone who wants to improve their stretching routine, because I'll be sharing a few important principles and guidelines. If you are ready, step onto the mat and we will begin. For this practice, you will need a set of blocks and a strap. You can also use books, a towel, a scarf, anything that you have handy. All right, and we'll start in the tabletop position. So bring your hands underneath the shoulders, knees hip distance apart. And just a few cat and cow movements to bring the arch flexion and extension into the back. So with the next inhale, soften the belly down, lift the chest, tailbone up. Exhale, round the back, press the floor away. Let's do about three more rounds. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Very good, come back into the tabletop and now I want you to do the same but separating the movement and taking it only into the hips. So not your shoulders, not your upper back, only the hips and lower back. So untuck the tailbone, soften the belly down, keep the shoulders above the hands, nothing changes. And now tuck the tailbone, you will feel that the navel is pulling into the spine, a few more times, untuck and tuck. Keep looking for this movement. A few more times. And really focus on this part. When you're lifting through the tailbone up, your sit bones are pointing also back and up towards the ceiling. And this one. All right? So if you're tight through the back of your body and through the hamstrings, most probably when you stretch, when you fold forward, your body position is like this. We call it posterior pelvic tilt. So your lower back is rounding and you're tucking the tailbone. And in this position, you will never be able to really fold forward and reach your head. What we are looking for is this position. This is called anterior pelvic tilt. Tilt. So today I will keep reminding you to be able to untuck your tailbone, that's how we call it, to point the tailbone up, soften the belly down. This is the way we want to be able to stretch, all right? So I hope you got very comfortable with this movement through the hips. Let's continue warming up into the back of the legs, mainly hamstrings and a little glute activation before we start to stretch. So pick up the right knee, flex the right foot, and from here extend through the right heel back. Keep the hips parallel with the floor and really feel the strength through the back of your leg, through the hamstrings. And now bend the knee to knee, don't touch the floor. Extend it back through the heel, sending all of your energy and together. A few more times. Your foot is actively flexed, neutral spine. You're hugging the stomach in towards the spine. About five more. One, two, three, a little squeeze the butt when you extend back, four, in here, and five, hold it here, touch the toes nearly to the floor and lift back up to parallel. Once again, you'll feel strong activation through the back of your legs. That's exactly what we want. Five more, one, two, three, four, Five, bring it down. Let's do the same on the other side. So flex the left foot, extend through the left heel back, keep the legs strong and active, and bring the knee to knee. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Five more. One. Send your energy through the left heel back. Two. Toes are facing down. Three. Four. Five. Very good. Touch the toes down. Lift back up to parallel. You'll feel that the place where your hamstrings attach to your sit bones, the underbutt, is really working strong. Five more. One. The same, the center of your hamstrings, the center of the muscle. Beautiful. One last time. And release down. Good. Let's come up into our downward facing dog. Take it slow and easy. I love starting by just walking my feet in place. It makes it easier for me. I bring one heel at a time towards the floor. Sometimes I do it fast, sometimes I do it slow and really take my time on each side. It's absolutely fine if your heels are not reaching the floor yet. We've all been there. Don't rush it. Then, soft bend through the knees. We are trying to lengthen through the back. Hold your downward facing dog for a little bit. If you are ready, you can lift through the right leg up and step through into the lunge. Otherwise, bring the knees down. Step the right foot forward. Already now, might be grab hold of your blocks and place them here by the side of the right foot. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee up. And now maybe bring the hands to the heart as we come up into the high crescent lunge. Hug the stomach in. We'll go for 10 slow knee touchdowns. One, two, left knee softly touching the floor. Three, four, for balance. Try to press both of your feet into the mat. Three more. One, two, three. Beautiful. Take your hands to the blocks. Find your low lunge, activate into the left leg and reach forward through the crown of your head. With the next exhale, start shifting your weight back, straighten your right leg as much as it is available. You can walk the hands a little bit further back and now reach as close towards the right leg as possible. With the next inhale, reach back forward, bend into the right knee. Three more times, exhale, fold back. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. One last time, exhale, back. Let's hold it here a little bit. Again, find the length through the back. Try not to round your back like this. Do you remember what we've been talking about in the beginning of the practice? No, untuck the tailbone and lengthen forward. You might be here. Wherever you start feeling the stretch through the back of your right leg, just hold it there. Don't push it, don't rush the process. Use your breathing to become as comfortable as possible in this position. Very good, bend into the right knee, left knee to the floor and step it back. You can come back into the downward facing dog if you prefer to step through. Otherwise, step your left foot forward, tuck the right toes, take your time here. Lift your right knee up. Make sure that your feet are on two separate tracks, as if they were train tracks. All right, press the feet into the floor and now come up, hands at the heart. We'll do the same, 10 knee touchdowns. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, whew, nine, nice burn, ten, very good hands to the blocks, again wiggle the feet to a comfortable distance apart, inhale lengthen forward, Exhale, start to slowly straighten in your left leg. If necessary, walk the hands further back. Might be your leg will not fully straighten today. That's absolutely fine. This has took years of practice. So don't compare yourself to what you see on the screen, right? And inhale, reach forward. Exhale back. And even now, I still feel the stretch. So it's never ending journey right we are not gymnasts we haven't been doing it since a little age so we have to be patient inhale forward exhale back inhale forward one last time exhale and hold it here lengthen through the spine as much as you can Very good. Reach forward, right knee down, step the left foot back, set your blocks aside. We'll come up into the downward facing dog one more time. Again, a little paddling the feet in place. Might be already now, you notice a little bit easier. It's all becoming. Every small progress matters. We have to learn how to celebrate it. Downward facing dog. Inhale, walk the feet forward to the front of the mat. Toes to touch, heels slightly apart. Bend the knees and fold forward. Relax the head down. And with the next inhale, slowly lift up to stand and take your time here not to get dizzy. Exhale, hands to the heart. So we'll come up into the chair pose. And we'll actually bring the hands to the hips. And again here, we'll try to find this movement of untucking tailbone and tucking. What is this? anterior pelvic tilt what is this posterior pelvic tilt the name doesn't matter what matters to you choose which one do you need when you stretch the hamstrings you need this one right so now from here you'll keep this tilt as you fold forward stomach comes towards the thighs Make sure you're not going like that. But keep lifting through the sit bones back and up. You might have to keep the knees slightly bent. Only go as deep into the standing forward fold as possible, but still with the sensation of lifting through the tailbone up. If necessary, hands can be on the blocks. Choose any height necessary for you. From here, squat down. Exhale, come back here. With the knees slightly bent, stomach press into thighs. Three more times, squat down. Exhale, fold. Inhale, squat. Exhale, fold. Exhale. <laughs> Exhale, fold. And now once again, walk the feet in place. You might lift halfway up, chest is lifting forward. Nice, beautiful stretch through the back of your legs. Take it slowly. Very good. Bend the knees and roll up to standing. How are you feeling right now? Might be a little dizzy. We spend a lot of time with the head down. Might be a little out of breath, even though we are stretching. Deep breath here. We'll continue with the warrior three. 
but we'll make it a little bit easier for ourselves because we'll be using blocks to support our balance, all right? And so because of my height, I'll place the blocks on the highest edge. I'll place my right foot further back, but in the center of the blocks, all right? Now I'll start finding the link through the back as I rest my hands and fingers on the blocks. And now I'll lift the left leg up and parallel with the floor. The first mistake you're going to make here, believe me, everyone does the same way. You'll be rounding into your back and holding it like this. That's understandable, it's a hard pose. I just want you to feel that your intention is to lengthen and might be you will be able to straighten your back a little more and then your left leg actively reaching back. Good. Mistake number two, you will try to open your hips like this and that will remove the stretch from your standing leg. That will make this pose easier for you, but it's not that efficient, effective. <laughs> All right, so square the hips, a little squeeze through the inner thighs in between the legs. I definitely recommend to take a picture of this pose of yourself and just evaluate what do you see? How straight are you? How long are you? What's happening with your hips? Or you can look in the mirrors if you have a lot of mirrors at home, right? Go ahead, touch the left toes to the floor. Lift it back up. Four more times. Touch, lift as high to parallel as you can. Touch. Lift up, touch, lift up, and slowly bring it down, bend the knees. You might feel that your right leg got really tired from all that work, and that's, that's how it's supposed to be. You'll feel the shin was working, the ankle, the foot was grabbing on the floor. Yeah, stretching is not that easy, especially with all these standing balancing poses that we have in yoga. Left side, left foot forward in between the blocks, hands or fingertips on the blocks, lengthen through the back, keep the left knee bent, right? And now try to bring the right leg parallel with the floor, straight point through the toes. You're reaching forward and back at the same time. Might be fully straight on your left leg. Might be your knee will remain a little bent. Now I want you to become as light on your hands as possible. You're engaging your core. You're engaging your lower back to hold you in this position. You're not just collapsing onto the blocks, right? Just one more breath. I know you have to hold for a long time while I'm explaining all these things. Good, touch the right toes to the floor, lift up. Touch down, lift up. Three more, one, two, Three, bend the knee, come up to standing slowly. Take a moment here, feet hip distance apart, might be circle through the hips, shift from side to side. Very good. Let's continue with our next stretching pose. It's called pyramid pose. So your right foot is facing forward. Step the left foot back, toes will be slightly facing out to the side. And now you slightly squeeze the inner thighs together to open, to point both of your hips forward ahead of you. We'll place the hands on the hips, pull the stomach in, lift through the chest up, lengthen through the crown of your head forward, and only reach as far forward as possible before you start rounding into your back like this and taking all the stretch away from your right leg. 
So anterior tilt, tailbone is lifting back and slightly up as much as possible. That's where the stretch is happening. Good, now press the right foot into the floor. You might be losing your balance. You might be fighting for your balance. That's fine. Your ankles, your feet build strength. So press those toes into the floor a little longer here. Hold it. One, breathe. Lengthen with every inhale. Soften on the exhale. One more. Take your hands to the blocks, if you still have them nearby. Good, lift through the chest a little more up. You can walk the feet in place here. I like bending one knee at a time. I like moving in my stretches. When I move enough, then I hold it still. One more breath. Lowering as close to the right leg as it is available to you, but maintaining the length through the back. This length through the back is something that you can hear very often in the yoga classes. Because we always want to create the space, elongate, grow taller, bend into the knees, and slowly come up to standing. I want you to be very careful with the transitions, the way you enter and the way you come out of the stretch is very important. All right, so you have to be careful and slow doing that, bending the knees, rolling up. Let's change the sides, step the right foot back, hips facing forward, Hands on hips, inhale, lift, lengthen forward. Start pressing through the left foot actively into the floor. The more you press the left foot into the floor, the better you will feel the stretch. Might be, you're like, I already feel enough. I don't even need to press my foot into the floor. But then press your foot into the floor for balance you'll feel much more stable and grounded. Have a few more times here, a few more breaths. Good, hands to the blocks. Might be go a little bit deeper. Your knee can be a little bit bent if it's necessary. Slowly step it forward, roll up to standing. Beautiful. Set the blocks aside, lower onto the mat. Now we will take hold of our strap. I'll place it double like this. You can hold your left leg straight. I prefer to bend my left knee. Again, if already here, you feel that you are sitting like this. Then I advise you to sit up on a blanket or a block. The moment you lift your hips up, it's much easier to find this length through the back, right? Like this, we feel strong, we look beautiful, we feel the space across the chest, that's exactly what we want. All right, so from here, bending the left knee, sitting up, Strap over the right foot like this. Might be your hands will be far away from the foot. Might be your hands will be rather close to the foot. Just find your distance. Bring the knee into the chest. Flex the foot. From here, start to slowly straighten the leg. Might be you won't be able to fully straighten the leg. Might be your leg will be here. That's absolutely fine. Let's repeat it a few more times. Bend the knee and straighten. Chest up, chest up. Bend and straighten. 
A few more times. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. One last time. Bending and lift up. Flex the foot, lift through the chest up and hold it here. Do you feel the stretch? Notice where you feel the stretch. Notice the intensity of the stretch. Usually I like grading the intensity from zero, where I feel nothing, which is not happening, to 10, where I feel like that's it. This is the end. All right. So if you are an absolute beginner, you can stay somewhere five, six. If you have been practicing for some time, might be seven or even eight. All right. Good release. Let's change the sides. Sit up, bend the right knee, left foot into the strap, sit tall, straighten the leg, bend the knee into the chest, straighten and bend. Might be it's hard on this side. Straighten chest up. And bend. That's absolutely fine. Our legs are different. Very good. One last time. My my hands got tired of holding on to the strap. <laughs> it's like a full body workout. Hold it here. Flex the foot. Spread those toes. Mind that you're here. I'll hold it here. This feels much better because my chest is lifting up. I feel my hip flexors are working, which is amazing. Hold. One. Two. Three. Well done. Release. Good. Shake your hands off if that was intense for you. Close open the fingers. Make your way onto the floor, onto your back. We'll just finish with one more stretch. Again with the strap, similar, but on the back. So grab hold of your strap. Bring the right foot into the strap and lift it up. Flex the foot and hold it here for a few breaths. Try to keep your right leg active, straight, engage through the quadriceps, because then it's easier for the hamstrings to relax and stretch. If your left leg is lifting off the floor like this, then it might be you'll prefer to bend the left knee, placing the left foot on the floor, and just really focusing on the stretch through the hamstrings. Your leg might, might start shaking by now. That happens very often. Just means you've been working hard. Your leg is not used to this stretch. The muscles are getting tired. One more breath. Might be a little closer towards the chest. Very good. Bend the right knee. Release. Let's change the sides. <laughs> good. Left foot into the strap. Right knee bent. Flex the left foot. Spread the toes. That will create a nice stretch through the calf. Close your eyes. Relax your shoulders as much as possible. I know your arms are working, they are holding onto the strap, but start to let go of all the unnecessary tension.
slow down your breathing. Bend the knee, bring the foot to the floor, set the strap aside, again open and close the fingers. Hug both knees into the chest. Extend left leg on the floor, hug the right knee in. Let's change the sides. Extend right leg on the floor, hug the left knee in. Bring both knees into the chest. Lift the forehead up to the knees. Release. Extend your legs down onto the mat. Shake it off, wiggle it out. You can take a long, nice Shavasana. If this is the end of your practice, I will say goodbye to you at this point. If you love this practice, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel, leave me a feedback how you felt, what you liked, within this practice, what didn't feel comfortable to you in the comments, I will try to reply and I hope to see you on the mat soon again. Have a lovely day ahead of you.